A constant is a number without any variable, like 2, 3, 4, 5, any number. Mention them. For instance, you have y equals to 4, and you want to find the y dx. So here, the y dx will simply be 0, because the derivative of a constant is 0. It might be y equals to 2, it might be y equals to 10, so the y dx of that will be 0. Now, number 2. Standard derivative, we need to know. Derivative of a number of the form ax raised to the power n. Here it will become an x raised to the power n minus 1. Our a and n here are constant, that is any number. So our y equals to ax a super n for us to see clearly and we are finding the y dx the y dx two steps is needed here you see that a here is the coefficient and n here is the power so the first step is that the power will multiply the coefficient the power multiply the coefficient that's why you have a n here so the power multiply the coefficient a n then x is to the power n, then you subtract 1. The second step is subtract 1 from that power. Subtract 1 from that power. So therefore, the y dx becomes a n x is to the power n minus 1. So you do two things. You first multiply the power and the coefficient, then you minus 1 from the power. For instance, we have our y equals to x squared, and we want to differentiate. So the y dx here will become because here the coefficient is 1 and the power is 2. So when the power and the coefficient multiply, 2 times 1 is still 2, then x raised to the power 2 minus 1. Subtract 1 from the power and it will become 2x raised to the power 1 and that is the same thing as 2x. So you can see that the same thing that we differentiated using the first principle that gives us 2x. Also, we apply this principle and it also gives us what? 2x. So, pick any number. Also, we can differentiate. Let's say y equals to 2x cubed. And you want to find the derivative of y with respect to x. So the y dx here now will become the power. Don't forget the method. The power multiply the coefficient. The power here is 3. The coefficient here is 2. So 3 times 2 will give us 6. Then x raised to the power 3 minus 1. Subtract 1 from the power. And therefore it becomes 6x raised to the power 2. So that's the derivative of it. That's the derivative of it. So, before we round up this class, let me give us that standard derivative up to number 5, then we continue from here in the next class. So, number 3 here, we have derivative of sine x is cos x. It's a standard derivative. Then number 4, derivative of cos x, that will give us minus sine x. So, you need to know this one very well, because if you don't master it, you may be missing it all. Once you know the first one, that this derivative of sine x equals to cos x, you will surely know the second one, that this derivative of cos x we give us minus sine x. So just master it very well. Because when we see it in our world, next time we'll be able to supply the answer directly. So lastly, number five, we have derivative of exponential x. So this one gives us the same thing as exponential x. So we stop here for today. Please press the subscription button.
and on the notification so as to be aware of any of our videos at any time. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day. Bye.